Egon Schiele is considered one of the most important artists of the 20th century. In its auction on the 26th of November 2019, Dorotheum will place a strong focus on this leading artist of Viennese modernism. One of the highlights in this sale will be a rediscovered manuscript by Egon Schiele from 1911. Schiele was only 21 years old when he wrote the text and had been able to celebrate his first great successes by then. The manuscript bears the date of the 17th of July 1911. It is written on small-sized sheets of bluish-grey squared stationery with blue edging. The text provides deep insights into the young genius's understanding of art and his artistic self-conception. There is no such thing as modern art. There is only one kind of art, and it is everlasting, the text begins, the content and tone of which are suggestive of a manifesto. It continues, you cannot look at a work of art, you can only look into it, and few have the necessary gift for that, thank God. The masses, he writes, are irrelevant for a work of art. A true work of art is the revelation of a specific artistic nature, and only the artist himself is able to judge it. The drawing, Woman with Raised Arms, from 1914, is particularly interesting. International Schiele expert and author of the artist's catalogue raisonné, Jane Callier, analyzes the work, which dates from a later phase in Schiele's career. Egon Schiele experienced a number of important transitions, both professional and personal, in 1914. It is above all Schiele's ambivalence about jettisoning his long-term partner, Valle Neutzel, for a more suitably bourgeois wife that permeates much of the artist's work in 1914. In contrast to the fragile figures who populated his earlier drawings and watercolors, Schiele's 1914 nudes are lusty, full-grown women. The noticeable volumes in Woman with Raised Arms contrast sharply with the resounding two-dimensional treatment of the picture plane. The signature location creates a deliberate sense of spatial dislocation. Another work by Sheila offered for sale, Woman Reclining on Her Side with Upturned Skirt, was made one year after the manuscript in 1912, and must certainly have been received controversially by the contemporary audience. Woman in Profile dates from 1909, the year when Arto Rosler was the first art critic to stand up for Sheila. Two years before Schiele penned his manuscript, Rochler had already written in Arbeiter Zeitung, the newspaper of the working class, about the artist's works on view and about the art-minded audience. Reluctantly and with much criticism, they had to admit that here was someone creating things from the categorical imperative of his genius and that this was an artist who could not be measured by conventional standards. 